Hi friends, how have you been? Good, I'm hoping. In today's video, let me take you through my life during a quick weekend. Studying after over 7 years can seem almost impossible. And by studying, I mean actually sitting and studying with textbooks and everything. And that's what I had to do over a week ago. I had extensive classes for 6 days that went on from 8.30 in the morning till 7 or 8 at night. So many new concepts to learn in just a week. And yes, an exam to write too. Exams still terrify me. I cannot mug up stuff and I've never been good at that. And a week seemed too less a time to understand 5 chapters which were over 150 pages. But did the exam go well? Yes, it definitely went better than I thought it would. And 6 days of strictly sitting in front of my books and laptop got me seriously miss the feeling of just being outdoor. And thus, we planned a weekend outdoor trip to visit an eco-tourism spot right here in our hometown. And thus we began on a Sunday morning, winding roads and very few vehicles to cause any traffic. But alas, as we drove up, it had started raining. We did almost decide to head back since it wouldn't be possible to enjoy the open spaces if it kept raining. But we thought we'd go have some food while waiting for the rain to subside. It ended up being a uniquely beautiful spot to have some breakfast. The views through the glass panel were just breathtaking. We even decided to spend some time exploring the resort. And I can say I was glad that we stopped there because we found out that the resort was run by sustainably minded folks too. We got our tickets to the Deer Park and the Adventure Zone. And in just a matter of 10 minutes, there was yet another downpour. We waited again and then headed inside the deer park. Unlike a zoo, the deers weren't kept in restrictive cages or so. Rather, this was a sanctuary where the deers had their own large open forest areas while humans were restricted to the pathways. Looking at the large groups of sambar deers unspotted deers happily in their own territories, it did make me feel more protective of mother nature. It made me want to try and do better to be able to leave the earth as is without any further damages to it. A good 20 to 30 minutes later, as we exited from the park, I was already feeling refreshed. Breathing in the fresh rain hit soil and stepping on the running muddy water. And then came the most exciting place that I wanted to be at. The elevated walkway at the adventure zone. Ever heard of walking amongst the trees high up? Well, that's exactly what I did. Suraj and I walked amongst the beautiful rain hit trees taking in each of the spaces to admire the beauty that was nature itself. I kept wondering why I never came here before and I swore to be back once again, maybe on a sunny day. As we climbed up higher and higher, the closer I felt to earth and its wholeness,
the trek down also took us through different terrains and landscapes. It made us come down to a pond which lay quiet with some inactive boats in it. The rains have definitely reduced the crowds coming here and in a way I may have spent more time in this beautiful area had it not been for the rains coming down hard yet again. But I did get to enjoy all the green and it made me more determined to spread the word on sustainability as much as possible. The best thing was that I did not catch sight of a single area which had any kind of waste thrown onto it. Every other tourist place I've been, I've seen litter, but not here. And that made me so, so, so happy and even more enthusiastic about letting these spaces remain as pristine as long as possible. One request to everyone who visits any beautiful place is to please not be the reason for litter to fill up such spaces, to always carry your own water bottles and to keep whatever waste with you until you are able to dispose of it responsibly. This trip definitely made me feel closer to nature and calm me down after such a hectic week. And I hope to have more such trips in the future. If you're from Trivandrum, don't miss this space and try and spend time here to capture the entire beauty of our home, the earth. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the like button and I will see you next time for the next video. So until then, bye bye.